I got charged with Murder One, which was totally against the Violence Against Women Act. I was in prison for 12 years. I was 38 when I went to prison, and I'm 51 now. I just got out. It was a nightmare that just never ended. He was an athlete, but he wasn't a jock in the sense that he would much rather watch Masterpiece Theater than football on TV. And so that was enormously attractive to me. <laughs> he choked me. It was this weird incident because it was almost like when it was over, I mean, I didn't know what to think. It was so unexpected and so out of character, I thought. It drew us closer together because it was like, okay, this horrible thing happened and now we'll work together to get through it, you know. Uh, I, I know that sounds really screwed up, but that's actually what it did because I didn't ever, he, he was so remorseful and apologetic that I felt really badly for him. And I believed him when he said he wouldn't do it again. So that was the first time. And then, of course, it was not the last. The Brides of Eden is a nonprofit program working with Voices Set Free to provide Eden-based greenhouse dawn gardens to the food banks for those families who are lucky enough to escape the violence and need food when they hit the streets. On our reality TV series, we're going to get out our unique collection of wedding gowns and play dress up with women like Lisa and they'll tell you their gruesome stories of domestic violence. Some of them had to kill an abusive maid in order to save their lives or their children. They'll tell you what it's like in prison, what happens to their children, and the extraordinary experience of hitting the streets when you don't even know how the world works anymore. Then we're gonna go down to our Garden of Eden under our Pacific Dome and do a photo shoot. We can't think of a better way to educate our population about domestic violence and to make money to get these greenhouse domes to the food banks for the families that are lucky enough to flee and eat food when they hit the streets. We hope you'll tune in. <laughs>